about 13 miles from downtown Atlanta. Welcome to Truist Park. MLB the show with a good one coming at you. It's the Colorado Rockies going up against the Atlanta Braves. First pitch coming your way Ladies next. Your Atlanta Braves. About to get started here. And our pitcher tonight, Max Free. Chris, you don't have to dig too deep into the numbers to see how good he's been. Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club. And what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him. And it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point. Maybe it's the motion. But just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. And the lefty with the 0-1. Swings through that one for strike two. The 0-2. And a foul ball. And the pitch. Nope. Got him. One gone here. Now it's Brendan Rogers. The second baseman, Brendan Rogers. And first offering is fouled off. The why to kick the pitch. That one fouled off. Next pitch misses. One and two to count. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That misses the zone. Ball two. Two strikes. And a pitch. And it goes just foul. One down, base is empty. Rip to third. Could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a two-bagger. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Against good pitchers, you've got to take advantage of the mistakes. That was right in his wheelhouse, and he didn't miss a stitch. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Reaches into the stands. He got it. Here's Bud Black's lineup for the Colorado Rockies. Not the highest team batting average for this squad. They're down towards the bottom of the league in total hits. And Singy, because of that, they don't score a ton. Yeah, and Boog, I'm looking for a little better performance out of them today. I mean, if they're going to be dangerous, if they're going to be able to create scoring opportunities, they're going to have to start making some individual adjustments. A lot of players in this lineup probably aren't happy with how they've hit the ball so far. So today's a chance to get something going. You'll want. Nope. And downstairs. One -oh. Rogers at second with two down. That one no. ran inside, almost got him.
Man at second. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, left field, pretty well struck, and that ball is gone. He sends it out of here, and they add a pair. It's 2-0. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Here's Charlie Blackman. That is it. The right fielder, number 19. Charlie on the ground, right one. side. Sends it to first, and that's the third out. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And it's two-zip. We go to the bottom of the first. Today's starter for Colorado, Austin Gomber. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Bottom of the first. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. Jr. Swings and misses. Strike one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Fouled off. He was late. Here's the 0-2. I got to count one and two. Good oh, eye right there. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Kicks and deals. Got him. And one away. No, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Here's Austin Riley. In there for strike one. That one drifts oh, inside. inside. Next offering is in for a strike. And down on strikes. Now two away. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, Got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Dansby Swanson takes a ball here as he stands in now. In for a strike, and that is strike one. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. When you get your chance, go up there and hit the ball hard somewhere.
And a foul ball left side. Two two now. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Down in order go the Braves. They trail it here two nothing. Second inning set to go. So in now for Colorado, Connor Joe. Colorado. The left fielder, number nine, Connor Joe. The wind of the pitch. Nope. Just That's missed. Ball. ball one, no strike. The lefty, the 1 0. -oh. He swings and fouls one off. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Can't get their base hit. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. And now it's Elias Diaz. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Ball. Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans, they're all going to appreciate you. Ed Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. And it gets by him. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Here's a speed threat. Sam Hilliard. And first offering is fouled off. And that one missing low. No outs, runners at first and second. And a ball in two strikes. And a ball evens the count. Two two now to twenty two. That one pulled foul. Next offering is foul back. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Joe at second, Diaz on at first with nobody out. Got him looking. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Well, that curveball had some pretty good break to it. As you can see, the hitter just locked up a little bit. Thought it was a great pitch to hit, but sometimes you're looking for something else, and you can't pull the trigger. Jose Iglesias gets a chance to hit now. And that's in there for strike one. On 
the corner for a strike. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball, see if he adjusts on this next pitch. One out. Runners at first and second. Tapped softly on the ground. Contreras. Off balance feed. There's one. And he'll keep it for just the one. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. So the batting order turns over, and here is C.J. Crone. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. A little bit low. Runners on first and third, two away. Next offering misses, three balls, no strikes. That's through there for a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ball game. In for a strike, now it's three and two. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah, a little slider action. Three, two now. And there's a foul ball. Corners are occupied with two down. Next offering is fouled back. Base hit, and a run comes in. Man, that was a pretty good battle at the play, and I'll tell you, it feels pretty good as a hitter when you grind out a hit like that. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Brendan Rodgers digging in for the Rockies. One for one with a double and a run scored. Fouled off down the right side. And that one is lifted in the air. Acuna there brings it in. And that is that. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 3-0. We head to the bottom of the second, and stepping in is the speedy Michael Harris. The center fielder, Michael. The wind of the pitch. That one missing inside. A 3-0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ball game. And it's one and one. One and one. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And he deals. Way upstairs, and it's two and two. The pitch. Full 
come back into the mound. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. Michael Harris with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. First pitch, and he just misses. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Next pitch is outside. Gomber checks on first, and he's back safely. Next pitch is inside, and that's ball three. Slapped foul. Gomber checks the runner and he's back in there. Kicks and fires. That one the other way. Makes the catch and there's one gone. Batting six. The first baseman. Here is Matt Olson. In there, and it's on one. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. Steel. At the belt and fires. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Throw to second, and he's out. Owen oh, two now. One ball, two strikes, the count. Just ball, misses two. with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Here's the two two. Now fly ball to right center. Hilliard has this one sized up, and that'll do it. Back here in Atlanta, all set for the start of the inning at the play. Ryan McMahon. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. 
Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play. Can throw from so many different angles and makes really tough plays look very easy. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Swings through that one. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Tarno makes the grab. One down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Shortstop. Garrett Hampson. Here's Garrett Hampson. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. Next oh, pitch is outside, and yeah, the count even one and one. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And it's caught for the out. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. So digging in, Charlie Blackman. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. is important if he can go one two three here will be a very positive sign for him and for his team next pitch is downstairs that's where you want it. it's a good miss the wind to kick the 2-0 A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. And there's ball four. Trying to work his way back into the count right there, but so much for that. Pretty good pitch, but just doesn't get the call on 3-0. So, man aboard, Connor Joe digging in for the Rockies. Ground ball, Austin Riley. And that is the third out of the inning. So, one left for Colorado, but they lead it 3 0. Back here at the ballpark, here's Marcelo Zuna. The Braves in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid-off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The pitch. Foul ball. The 0-1. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Oh, and two now. And there's a ball. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0 2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. And here it comes. And another ball. 
And now two and two. And that one hammered way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. And he hammered that to straightaway center field. It's a deep part of the ballpark. Tell you what, that wind is blowing straight in. Got to be a big man if you're going to go through the wind of that part of the park. It just knocked that ball down. Eddie Rosario takes one off the outside here. Next offering is in for a strike. Left-hand hitter waits. And a count one and two. Here comes a pitch. And that's outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider is going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Next pitch, not close, up high. Left-hand batter waits. That one hit to right. And it drops in, but a good job to keep it in front. And now it's William Contreras. And the first offering is not close. strike well he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there couldn't pull the trigger and perhaps the best pitch he'll see in this at bat to hit high fly ball right field Blackman drifts towards it two down the right fielder number 13 Ronald Acuna Ronald Acuna Jr. the next to hit this guy has turned into a beast. Ball. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. And that's in for a strike. Rosario off of first with two away. In the dirt, but kept close. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. On to inning number four. It's the Rockies three, and the Braves nothing. Back at Truist Park, start of the fourth. And now the catcher comes up to him, Elias Diaz. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. First offering, misses the mark. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. Next offering is down low. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Ozuna sizing this one up. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Now here is Sam Hillier. 
Struck out looking in his first at bat. Fought off foul. The 0 1. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And a pitch. Ripped on the ground a second. The throw to first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Now batter, the designated hitter, Jose Iglesias. And now, Jose Iglesias. Oh, bottom of the order here, Boog. You got to go right after this guy. As they look to pick up an add-on run, and the number nine guy at the plate. That one's in there, 0-1. One. one away with a runner at third. In the air, left field, down the line. Ozuna settles under it and makes the catch. Runner tacks from third to the plate. Save! And they lead by four. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Next for Colorado, C.J. Crone. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. That hits the dirt. Ball one. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. And the 1 0. Late with the swing there. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. The 1 1 is cut on and missed to the pitch upstairs. And now the lefty. And now two and two. Got him. And that'll do it. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Rockies four and the Braves nothing. And welcome back. John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Ronald Acuna Jr. Ronald Acuna Jr. The wind of the pitch. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Up the middle, Hampson gloves it. On the run, throw to first. Barely got him for the out, close play. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Austin Riley. Caught looking his first time up. Ball Next one. offering is down low, and that's ball one. And a pitch. 
This one lifted in the air, left field. He makes the grab, and there's two away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. Not shortstop. Gansby. Dansby Swanson stands in. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. In there for strike one. And a strike in there. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. That's to third. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. And yeah, the Braves go down quietly. They're down 4 nothing. Ready now for the fifth inning. So in now for Colorado, Brendan Rodgers. The second baseman, Brendan Rodgers. The wind of the pitch. Nope. And ball one. The 1 0. Ball two. Two balls, no strike. High in the air, out to right. Acuna there puts the squeeze on that one and there's one down. Here's the third baseman Ryan McMahon. And that's in there for strike one. Kicks and deals. And that one pulled foul. And a pitch. Stays alive. And a pitch. And one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Next offering upstairs. The wind and the pitch. And down on strikes he goes. Two away. Garrett Hampson digging in for the Rockies. And he drops it down the third baseline. And he grabs it foul. Popped up. Tracks it down for the out. And that's the inning. Rockies are down quietly, but they lead it four to nothing. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Now in for the Braves. Michael Harris. For the Braves. The center fielder. Michael. The pitch. Harris. And first offering is fouled off. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. That one blasted deep to right. Back there. It bangs off the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics.
Now here is Travis Dardo. He's 0 for 1. The catcher, Travis Dardo. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. No outs. Runner on second. Bounce to third. Fires over to first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Now batting. First baseman. Matt Olsen. So up next, Matt Olson. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Next pitch downstairs, ball one. Kicks and fires. That one clips the outside corner. That's strike one. Runner at second here, one gone. Next pitch misses way outside. Man at second. That's down and in. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. The pitch. Liner, base hit. Harris coming home, and it kicks off the base of the wall. Rudder scores from second as they get one back. It's 4-1. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Man at second with one away. Marcelo Zuna. Next up for the Braves. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. Two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Foul ball. Olsen on its second with two down. Next offering is foul back. Next one misses. Going to count one and two. Runner leads away at second. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family. But when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.
the final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rockies four runs on six hits no errors they left three men on base for Atlanta one run four hits no errors they left two men on base time of the ball game two hours and 46 minutes tonight's paid attendance at Truist Park 41,500 the Braves thank you for your continued support and remind you to please drive home safely